So today in New Haven, Connecticut, we had early dismissal because we have oppressive heat and humidity. It's the beginning of the school year. Students don't have their devices yet. Schedules are still changing. Some things are in disarray, but you know what? It's going to settle down very soon. Typical beginning of the year stuff. So whenever we have like 20 something minute classes, if that happens to you, an awesome activity you could do to fill in that time and still get your students thinking is to give them an activity called digits. All right. And I did this in a building thinking classroom style as described in Peter Lehigedal's book, Building Thinking Classrooms. But right here, students are given six digits and they have to compose those digits using arithmetic operations, plus, minus, times, divide, and as many parentheses as they want, but they have to construct an arithmetic an arithmetic expression whose value is equal to the goal if you look at this picture here we have six digits with a goal of 20 and right below is one solution that a group of students came up with see right there now when i did this uh, it took me quite a bit of time to get it but i got this solution right down there and you'll come to discover that there is often more than one solution to a particular digits problem so if you ever have a day where it's kind of like you don't want to waste it but it's kind of like not a place where you can move on in the curriculum. This is an awesome activity that you could use to fill in the time and get students thinking.